and gentlemen, been reading some of that wrestling news past couple of weeks. TNA have released five jobbers like a week or two ago or something. Last night they released two of our jobbers. Victoria, yeah, she was okay there, but whatever. And Festus, fucking jobber. They released seven wrestlers the past couple weeks. They're supposed to fire Pritchard. They're going to restructure everything. Why? Because they're fucking broke ever since they left their comfort zone, a.k.a. the impact zone. They have to rent arenas, and that costs them money. Obviously, if they have to fire half their fucking staff, it's because they got minor problems. Big fucking problems. You know, there's stories that they're behind and pays. Wrestlers have to wait like a month to get paid shit like this. You know what that means, people? You know what that fucking means? It means that TNA is gonna die. It is what it is, okay? In this day and age, wrestling is dying. Wrestling as a whole is dying. WWE are still alive, but they've been around for a fucking long time. They spend money to make money. They got money <laughs> to make money. They got wrestlers. They got, you know, shit to stay alive at least, okay? They're not, you know, grabbing new fans, <laughs> stuff like that. They're not, you know, going back, fucking climbing the ratings, but at least they stay alive, that's, you know. But TNA, their ratings are going down. What did they get last week or the week before? Point seven, uh, point fucking seven. Oh, Fourth of July, TNA fans were out, out partying. TNA fans leaving the house to party. <laughs> Biggest joke I've heard all fucking air. TNA fans leaving the house to party. Get the fuck out of here. TNA are broke. Okay, I see fans. Oh, they might have money problems, but they got the best product. No, they don't. Their product fucking stinks. It is what it is. Okay? In this day and age, wrestling is dying. It's not like like if there's a shitload of new fans that are going to run to TNA. Hey! You know, there used to be lots of wrestling fans. 20 million wrestling fans in the States, stuff like this. TNA could have grabbed some of these fans. But now those fans are watching MMA, missing in action, nowhere to be found. So there's no, there's not like a shitload of wrestling fans that they can even get to start watching their product. WWE fans are not going to leave WWE just to watch TNA. It's not going to happen. TNA sucks. Okay, WWE, for example, the ratings go down. Who do they get? The Rock. Yes, he sucked this year, but WWE can get Rock to boost the ratings. They could get Steve Austin if they were desperate enough. He would boost the ratings. Brock Lesnar boosts the ratings. TNA doesn't have shit. They don't have anybody that can attract a shitload of fans. Jeff Hardy, very popular, very successful in WWE. He goes to TNA. It didn't change fuck all. They get Hulk Hogan. According to Dixie Carter, he's the most popular man on the planet. You know, that's the thing. Dixie Carter's a retard. There's a big problem there. Hulk Hogan doesn't bring fuck all. He made the ratings go down. They had way more fans before with the six-sided ring, shit like this. Hogan comes in with the nasty boys. TNA loses its originality or whatever. And then it just went downhill. You know, tomorrow night, Chris Sabin versus... Bully Ray, do you think that they're going to gain a million new viewers because of Chris Sabin? People don't give a fuck about a four foot hundred pound midget called Chris Sabin. Let's get fucking real. TNA 
doesn't know how to do fuck all with the wrestlers. They don't have wrestlers that can bring in fans. Kurt Angle went to TNA. They thought that Angle would fucking turn the company upside down. They were going to beat WWE. No! Kurt Angle became a drunken retard that stalks women. Because TNA doesn't make him do drug tests or whatever. They enable his crazy drunkness and drug problems is what they do. Okay, um, TNA, first of all, they would have died a long ass time ago. But Dixie Carter came in and saved the company. TNA would have lasted a few years. If it wasn't for Dixie Carter, the Jarrett's were going out of fucking business. That's why Dixie bought the company. It would have already been dead. But even with all of Dixie's money or whatever, shit ain't gonna skyrocket. It won't. It's just gonna keep going down. It is, fuck. It's not good. There's not a bunch of wrestlers anymore that they can grab. Okay, like... WCW, they took all of WWE's biggest stars. They had the money. They were financially able to get a shitload of stars. TNA has to fire your wrestlers because they're broke. <laughs> you know, the way that it's structured now with the contracts, they couldn't offer Cena $10 million a year or $5 million a year. I'm just saying there. It's not what he gets paid. I'm just saying. If they would tell him five million a year, come to TNA, you know, it won't, it can't work now because of the way it's structured with the contracts, blah, blah, blah. And there's nobody left in the wrestling world. There's no big stars that aren't employed. Only old guys like Goldberg, for example. Who else? Who else is a major wrestling star? that TNA could acquire to bring in ratings. There's nobody left. They're all retiring. They're all retired. Even if Goldberg or someone like that would go to TNA, it wouldn't change a goddamn thing because TNA would make him look pathetic. Raw, RVD versus Jericho. RVD looked like a million dollars. RVD had an amazing match. In the main event of Raw, there's talk that they're going to make him win the belt, shit like this. What did TNA do with a real, legit main eventer like RVD? They put him in the X Division. How retarded is that? He was losing matches against Raw BE. Crap like that, you know? T <laughs> TNA are fucking retards. They had a main eventer right there in RVD. And they fucked him. They made him look bad. They made him look stupid. Fuck. Losing to jobbers. X Division jobbers. What a joke. That shows you that TNA don't know what to do with stars. They don't know how to build stars. They don't know what to do with established stars. They make them look weak and pathetic. Every star that goes to TNA ends up looking bad. If Sting goes to WWE, I bet you he will look a million times better than he's looked in TNA the last couple of years with his Joker gimmicks, all sorts of dumb crap like that. WWE would make him look a whole lot better because they're a real company. TNA isn't. You know, Dixie Carter, she does interviews. She claims that she wants to surpass WWE. Now, TNA fans are virgins, they're horny, they listen to Dixie Carter talk, they want to support her because they're horny, shit like this, okay? However, in reality, she will fail, okay? She will fail hard. They had to drop all of their fucking pay-per-views, for fuck's sakes, there's only three, four pay-per-views left. It's because they're broke, you idiots. It's not because they're in the big time. Dropping pay-per-views, wrestlers, they have to change the company, they're behind in payments. That's because they're fucking going down. And there ain't a shitload of money that's going to go in TNA. They're not going to get a shitload of new viewers that are willing to pay money to watch TNA. The company is going to die. The fans that they have now are going to disappear because of bad booking.
boring shows, yada, yada, yada. And there ain't gonna be new fans to support this fit. TNA is gonna die. Eventually, Dixie's dad is gonna say, fuck it, you know, move on, start a different company, because he's gonna be sick and tired of losing all his money for a shit wrestling company that sucks. So get ready because TNA is about to go down. Maybe not this year, I ain't gonna put a number on it, but it's obvious that the Fed is fucking dying. So yeah, that's about it. Until next time, peace.